Man, what's going on, Facebook, Mustard Seed? Bro, Nick here. Hope you guys had a blessed day today, man. This beautiful weather. Get ready, man, because things about to heat up this weekend. Things about to heat up, but we should always be ready. Always be ready for when things heat up. Always be ready for when the Lord about to put us through the flames, man. You know what I mean? You got to understand one thing about the flames is he's purifying your heart. You know, when he purifies gold, when gold is purified, what happens is it starts to take all that nasty stuff out of the gold. It starts to take all of the uh, all of the extra materials out of the gold. And, and so what it does, because gold is first before it's, uh, before it's put in the flames, uh, before it's refined, it's heavy. It's a heavy material. It's a heavy material, but a, a heavy, hard material. But as uh, it goes through the flames, as the impurities start to come out, as they start to come out and it starts to be pure gold, it lightens the load. It, it softens the gold. It, it, it's a nicer material. So we should always be embracing the storm that we're in when we're going through the furnace, man. When every single trial, tribulation that comes our way, but in reality, I'm talking about the hot heat coming to California, man. Say it's supposed to be like 100 degrees everywhere you go. But it's okay, man. It's, it's awesome. I'm ready for it. I just wanted to hop on here because last couple of uh, weeks, matter of fact, last couple of weeks, we've been uh, studying the commandments of God. And I know I say that and the Bible, Bible scholars are like, hey, there ain't no, we're not bound by commandments no more. We're not, we're not bound. But you know what? Jesus left us two commandments to stick with. And when you stick with these two commandments, it fulfills every single commandment there is. And first one was love thy God with all our heart, mind, and soul. With all of us, man. Our heart, our soul, our mind, everything that we are that work to love the Lord, our God, with everything we have. Uh, then... And it says to love thy neighbor as you love yourself. The second command, we're supposed to love our neighbor. So that there are two that are right there. And as we dug into it today, we, we, the question was brought up. What could hinder us from doing those two commandments? What could hinder us from doing those two commandments? And the, the answer is ourself, man. The answer is truly ourself. But there's also something else. It's that unforgiving heart, that bitterness that we carry with us, even as Christians, as Christians, someone offended us years ago and we still hold that offense in us. And we have to understand Satan, he's only allowed the territory that you give him. Whatever you allow him, that's what he'll take. And if you're holding some bitterness in you, some unforgiveness in you, he'll stay in that spot. And he'll bring it up, make it bigger and bigger to occupy more territory. So all that bitterness that we have, that unforgiveness, we have to get rid of it. We have to get rid of it. Matter of fact, when Jesus was telling his disciples about uh, the end of times, you know, what to look for. He, he, he was like, the love of man will grow cold. That the love of man is it, it's, it's going to fly away and when he uses that word love he uses the agape word the agape love that means the the, the love that uh, uh, that you give when you don't expect anything in return the love that God gives us when he don't respect anything in return you know we all go by the uh what is it the fideo love fileo 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 whatever it is man you know fideo you know whatever we go by that love like if you love me, I'm going to love you back. If you love me, I'm going to love you back. That, that's man's love. But, but this love is the love of God. The agape love. And that will grow cold. And, and people will start to tear away from that. And remember, the, the main commandment is to love the Lord our God with all our heart. So when that love starts growing cold, when that love starts departing from us, we really have to worry about it because without that love, we can't love our neighbor. Matter of fact, we can't even love ourselves. 
sometimes that that's the one person we need to forgive and yet we can't we can't forgive ourselves for something that we did a situation we put ourselves into whatever it may be but god wants god already forgave you sometimes we just got to forgive ourselves in order to move forward because how can you love your neighbor if you can't even love yourself so man i hope you guys get out this weekend man i hope you guys have a blessed weekend I hope you guys get out conquer this weekend, but yet I hope you guys get out and show the love of Christ to somebody. That agape love, that love where you help somebody with their groceries and you want nothing in return. That love when you see somebody hurting, looking for a meal that you just passed down a meal and you're not looking for nothing in return. I, try, I tell you, you do that, you start living by that model. Your rewards are all in heaven, man. And how are we supposed to live with that model? You know, uh, the book of Galatians talks about if you sow to the flesh, you'll reap what is of the flesh. You'll, you'll reap death upon you. But if you sow to the spirit, you'll, you'll reap what is of, of the spirit. What is of the spirit? Eternal life. Life that heaven dwelling in you so if you keep sowing you'll start to see uh uh your good in return you'll start to see everything come back full circle in due time if you don't give up that's the key that's the key just keep giving keep giving even when you can't re see the results because that's the agape love when you give with nothing in return but it's in your heart to give, in your heart to give, in your heart to help out, in your heart. So I love y'all Facebook. I hope you have a blessed day. And sorry, I just rambled, man. I'm actually just trying to catch my air because, you know, I just ran like two miles. So <laughs> I'm just trying before I go home all sweaty like I do. But I love y'all, man. Y'all have a blessed weekend. Come down to Cali. Enjoy it. 110 degree weather out in the beach, you know, 96 degrees in the shade. I love y'all.